Now, back to the sports mix with Spencer and Nick on Talk Radio WRNR 106.5 FM, AM 740, and TV 10. Welcome back to this edition of the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Spencer, Colin, and Dylan, happy to have you with us. Nick on vacation through the rest of the day. He's coming back from Florida, but now we're joined on the phone by the newly named athletic director at Spring Mills High School. How are you doing today? Coach Simpson, still going to call you that. That's just what I've called you for the last two years. How are you doing, Coach Simpson? I am doing well. I am living the dream, fellas. How y'all doing? We're doing great. And a couple months ago, I had seen that you, uh, I think it was Mark Salfia had posted that uh, you had accepted an assistant principal job at Spring Mills. And then here we are a couple weeks ago, you were named, uh, not only, you, you move over from assistant principal, but also add in the athletic director tag to that. Uh, How does it feel to have a new job and uh, now be the coach of the coaches? Well, uh, when I when I tell you I'm living the dream, uh, that's that's exactly what it is. When I started down this career path in uh, with an administrative degree, uh, this is the way I'd hope to use it. So, uh, being in the, having the opportunity, first of all, to work at Spring Mills was was awesome. Um, getting then the opportunity to move over into this seat with this responsibility. Uh, within uh, the athletics department is a dream come true. Coach Simpson, Colin here. First off, congratulations on the new opportunity for you. Looking forward to still getting to interact with you while at Spring Mills throughout all these sports seasons. Uh, Just tell us, I guess, how originally the assistant principal job came to you and now with Riser leaving, having the opportunity to become the athletic director. Well, it's just, uh, you know, throughout this, this industry, you know, uh, people uh, make decisions and, and uh, for, for a multitude of reasons, a, a position opened up at Spring Mills High School uh, as a, an AP, an assistant principal, and, and uh, I looked at, and took an opportunity to apply for it and, uh, and uh, you know, was, did well enough in the interview that that uh, the administrative staff here at Spring Mills, uh, Mark Salfia in particular, uh, felt comfortable with me uh, being a part of the team. Then, uh, you know, so I, I was all geared up, ready to go, ready to, to do the job in the, uh, in the front office. And then uh, Coach Reiser got some opportunities, uh, fell into his lap and that, uh, you know, they may even offer he just couldn't refuse down south. So this position came available, and uh, they asked my thoughts on on uh, if I'd be interested in athletics, and I jumped at it. Hey, Coach Dylan Bishop here. Uh, now that you are in this position as athletic director at Spring Mills, what what are sort of some of the things that you have? you know, looked at so far or early on in the process as the things that you want to get to work on uh, first and once you get into that office uh, to work on in the athletic department? Well, the, the main thing for me coming in here is is learning systems. I, I, have, to, I have to lock down uh, the way business is done here from this position. So, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not coming in with any kind of mandate looking at sweeping changes and, and those types of things. Uh, I'm trying to get my sea legs under me a little bit, understand, uh, how things, how things operate. And then as I go through that process, I'll be, uh, you know, looking at the way things, uh, can hopefully be improved to, to make things better for our coaches and our athletes. And obviously coming over here, I'm assuming since you haven't officially taken over that role until it's voted on tonight at the board meeting, a new volleyball coach was recently named uh, turn, turn over there at that spot. But uh, the football, it seems like all these programs, they're coming into great 
uh, spots right now that you're kind of going to be able to take over the lead on all of that. Uh, but a new coach in volleyball, you have obviously Coach Sims returning in football, and then uh, soccer obviously is is a great program at uh, in both boys and girls at Spring Mills. What's the fall sports looking like for you when it comes to uh, have you met with the coaches and things like that yet? That is to come. I have uh, reached out to all of the coaches. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity yet to meet them all, but but I'm going through that uh, daily, uh, meeting with new coaches. Um, you know, it, these are exciting times for Spring Mills. Uh, we've got great programs. Uh, we've had for such a young school, the uh, there is a tradition of success here. Uh, we've had many programs do many great things uh, at regionally and at state level. So uh, the the outlook for athletics at, at Spring Mills is uh, very bright indeed. Coach Simpson, uh, before obviously the change here with the athletic director position, Wayne Reiser taking the role last year, Talking to him at the end of the school year, he, he was mentioning numerous projects that he was wanting to do during this uh, summer going forward with his position up until he took the new role in South Carolina to go coach baseball. Some of those being new turf for the football field or press boxes um, for the baseball and softball fields. I know you're not officially at that spot yet. But have you had any time to, I guess, talk with him or Mr. Salfio or any update in general about those projects and where they are at right now? Uh, no update at this time for any uh, capital improvement projects. Um, I know there have been some things completed inside the building uh, over over the course of the summer. Uh, the, the projects that you have mentioned, I am not... Uh, I have not been brought up to speed yet on where we're at with those uh, particular projects, but it, it's exciting. The, the, the way Coach Reiser, uh, you know, he had a vision for what he wanted to see here, and uh, he, he's a mover now. He, he uh, made some things happen, and that's, that's been good for our programs. So, Coach, obviously you're a football guy, and I, th- I believe we are a day away from being a month away, you know, as it's July 24th, <laughs> from football season. So what are you looking forward to from the uh, Spring Mills football team specifically? Well, I'm looking for a, a great uh, show. I, I expect uh, this program, uh, this, uh, this team to be very entertaining. There's a, a lot of talented young men in this program and it's not just the football i mean there there are there are talented young men and women all throughout the uh the building here you know our sports programs are are very good and uh so i'm looking forward to put to these coaches and and these young men and women to to put on a show that's going to make their uh, community proud of them you know i i've I have the fullest faith and confidence in Coach Sims. Uh, I've, I've known him for a couple of years, uh, competed against him. I, I know what he's about, and I know uh, what he's, what he's uh, building with the, with the program. So, I, you know, I expect great things. I, th- I think this is going to be a, a wonderful year for Spring Mills football and Spring Mills athletics. And you talk about the other sports there, uh, you know, looking at girls basketball, obviously they went to the state tournament last year. A lot of turnover there when it comes to uh, players deciding to, uh, you know, go to different schools. And then when you look at boys basketball, they're on the rise as a program under Coach Samples. Uh, what are you looking most forward to about basketball season? Well, I think, uh, I think we have just a wonderful venue here. And the product that has been put on the court has been very exciting, and and I think we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun this year. I think our, our like I say our programs are gonna be entertaining. They're gonna be competitive. Our our uh, our fan base is a very excited fan base. 
So nothing but great things. And coming from a school like Washington, obviously that's a newer school to a school like Spring Mills. Uh, what kind of things can you take from, you know, coaching football at Washington, a, a school that is, you know, you know, not more than 15 years old to a school that's just about just over 10 years old when it comes to kind of the fans and trying to get kind of, I guess, more of an alumni base to help out teams and things like that? Well, that's always uh, been a challenge for uh, for Washington in particular, and and I'm sure Spring Mills is is a even much newer facility than than Washington was. But you know those those things take time. You know, we're talking the people who would that first graduating class would be around you know, 27, 28, 29. So they will be hitting their, uh, you know, they, they will, they're ascending professional careers, if you will. Um, you know, they'll be hitting those marks. So developing the, the alumni association, particularly in, in athletics, I think it's important to reconnect uh, with those young men and women who, you know, started the programs here and uh you know make them feel welcome know that that they're they're wanted and and uh that their school still needs them and that uh you know we i'm sure they all want to see great things uh happen for spring mills so bringing them in and, and making them once again a part of of this great tradition that has been built at Spring Mills, I think will do wonders for the school in general and uh, athletics in particular. We're joined on the program by Glenn Simpson, the soon-to-be Spring Mills athletic director, former Washington Patriots football coach. Coach Simpson, the biggest change so far this year in high school sports has to be the transfer portal, it seems like, as Hmm. we've seen different players, no matter what sport it is, already making the moves from high school to high school within the state and even some from out of the state. Just wanted to get your opinion on this new rule as well as kind of just how difficult, I guess, it's been to truly jump in and learn all the aspects of it. And now for you becoming the athletic director at a high school, having to learn it and figure out what to do. Well, I am I am just a little bit behind the curve on this issue. However, it has always been my belief, my philosophy that you know uh, parents are going to make decisions that are in their best interest, as they should. You know this the the young men and women that they entrust to the to the school system are their um, their prized possessions. So I don't fault any parent or or player for making a decision that they think is in their best interest. Now, I do believe that if you build a program that the community can be proud of and you create an environment, a culture, a climate where um, they feel wanted and safe and, uh, you know, valued, you're going to bring in more than you lose. Glenn Simpson, our guest, newly named Spring Mills High School Athletic Director. Thanks for the time, Coach Simpson, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. It was my pleasure, fellas. Thank you so much.